Hello and welcome to Age of Wonders 4. I have found a lot of joy in this video game and chose to play it as well for stream and YouTube. So I was thinking about people on YouTube and maybe I could let them choose what kind of faction I will play. So it's up to you to choose. So we will play one of the custom factions I created. I've already played as um, Zahira Everstar with a very um, magic, mystic focused playstyle as you can see on the traits. I've also played as the Blight Void with a very shadow and undead, dark and edgy evil theme. Now I want to play as something new. And um, you can choose any of those that you see here, just write the name in the comments. You can also just say, ah, oh, you would like the affinity, you would like me to go order, or you would like me to play feudal, or maybe you want me to play more nature stuff with feudal, or you could say, ah, oh, no, maybe I've never seen someone do with the material stuff and industrious would be cool. Or maybe you start underground, that would be cool, we haven't seen that yet. Up to you. If you already know what you want, just write it down in the comment and feel free to skip the rest of the video. That's totally fine. I will now go over all of these factions here that I created. And that will be just the rest of the video. So here I have Ava Solos of the Eternals. This one starts with the Tome of Faith. The Tome of Faith is really strong. Has some healing, has one of the best early game units, the Chaplain. And I chose to give them Feudal. They are perfectionist artisans and devotees to good. So that would be a very heavy order focus where we are like the God good and see us our our chosen purpose to bring our devotion to everyone else and not tolerate any bad almost a little bit zealous and we focus mostly on one city so we start with less city cap we will be very small but tall oriented not wide but tall then the Amber Yggdrasil, the Men in Tights. This one is a very nature focused and animal focused run. So here I would like to try and get everything out of animals. A feudal society with adept settlers and runesmith. I think this is a very strong faction, probably stronger than the previous one. These animals are very viable. And um, I also gave the magic and unicorn. They're really the, the fairy kind of kingdom with all the nature and all the quirky creatures basically the Feywild in Age of Wonders 4 with magic weapons and a lot of cities this would be quite the opposite of the Ava Solos this would be why also maybe good more this would be more neutral but very wide and not tall then we have another more on the neutral side also again with a um, nature but this time a combi combination of nature and order the Kajit with Avaricia gold coin here basically we are Kajits if you have wares we like if you have coin we have wares and that's really the thing with this one I would try to be more on the peaceful side not necessarily with the other two um, but money Money and influence will be what we would do. City-states we would neither con conquer or subjugate, we would vassalize them or befriend them. We just want to be rich, would be the key of this. And I chose a mix of nature and order because it fits the best, the Kajit. And the nature tome is pretty good. And I thought, they're cats, they must be good hunters, right? Then the Blight Void, this is not up for choice, but I still will show it to you quickly as this was the very dark and edgy content where I wanted to go all in shadow and spiders and evil and undead and turn everyone into this. I even made a 
unique realm for this where the vision is very small and the, the wild is ever shaping, ever changing and very dark and grim. But we would embrace that. We are, we are born in the darkness. We have been molded by it. We are darkness and death. So yeah, full on on the goth emo vibes. Then Mana Ahotenshi, the inevitable. With um, a symbol that looks a little bit like Sauron's eye. Is also a very unique one as they are pure evil, but they're the chosen destroyers and perfectionist artisans. So they also have just one city. They're a little bit like the cultists from Endless Legend. Absolute fanatics. Start with the Tome of Faith, go a little bit with them. They're basically the evil order. They, they, they are aware that they're fanatics, but they only care about their own truth. Also with quick reflexes and sneaky, very OP humans. So this, I think, is also a very strong faction, but very unique as they cannot go wide, but instead go tall, and they cannot settle or conquer cities they can only raise it so truly they're like the cultists and they just want to eradicate everyone that is not them because they themselves are the only pure pure being and their fate is of course inevitable then we have Pepe de Wet, one of the first princes he is. He loves magic and he does not mind going through the darkness if it is to attain magical power. He has been slumbering through the cold winter underneath in a stasis, as well frogs tend to do. But now he has woken and wants to delve out of the underground and also show a presence on the surface that is slowly melting again. This is all about ice frogs and using magic and colonizing all of everything and just all the mana hunger. I gave them powerful evokers and mana addicts. They really, this is all about full on mana build. A lot of magic, a lot of spells, a lot of research. And like money takes here a little bit of a secondary place we would more likely to be summoning units instead of building them then we have here quick the head keeper which is like the cousin of quick the head taker because um, yeah the original quick is warhammer and we just made our own version inspired by the head taker quick Obviously starts with the Tome of the Horde. Um, the race is the Vermintide, just the Ratkin, keen-sided, overwhelmed tactics. Here it's really quantity over quality. Of course we're ritual cannibals, we don't we're not picky eaters, we just eat and prolific swarmers. So really just Skaven, pure Skaven. To play that would be fun. I haven't gone for a pure chaos. Um, faction yet. Then we have Raharth, the red beard of the Golden Core. They're dwarf, zealous dwarfs, pure order. They of the high faction, and um, the devotees are good, and they try to spread it. They're more on the peaceful side. They start underground, but they always pray to the to the core of the earth, like they're the the upside down sun prayers. While there are some like the, the sun elves or the high elves that pray to the sun, these pray to the core, to the molten core of the earth and to the light that comes from within. They are, they have been always there. They're older than any other faction and they build Magnificent wonders. Then we have Rimergand, the beast of winter, from the white that wends. 
a Pillars of Eternity inspired faction. They're also focusing on ice and shadow. And they're really the ones that have adapted the Arctic and find entropy and bring it to everyone else. Because all men must die. Everything finds an end. No king rules forever. And they have embraced that. That's why they are led by Rumergand, the Beast of Winter. So with those I would really f go all in on ice magic. All in on Creomancy and every I other ice tome I would take. And as a complementary tome, I don't know what I would take. Could be many. Maybe some nature could be nice. I've seen there are some ice spiders and some ice animals. That would be nice to just add all the ice and winter themed animals to this build. And then we have Tyra Hellspawn. That's the wrong head. I, I'm certain I gave her another head. Why did it give... I will have to change... Uh, this one quick. What is your people's form? Go with this one. Yeah, let's select this one. Your journey okay. begins. Can I go back here? Oh, I'm sorry for this interruption. Now does it go back to... Please give me my customs. I don't know why I chose... Why I changed the helmet here. Because when I created her, she did not have that one. Well, I will have to adjust it if we pick her. So, Tyra Hell spawn of the Green Mezer, Menace. The Tome of Roots. They're all... She leads goblins and they're all about the belief in the one dragon. A little bit inspired by Tiamat and by d and dragons, they believe in the one true green dragon that will come back and they follow them. And she is the, the strongest of them all. And of course, serving in the name of the green dragon. They're obviously signs of evil because the green dragon is a pure evil being. The rune smith, so they want to have everything enchanted in the name of the dragon. That's why they go with the Tome of Root, which gives poison stuff everywhere. This is heavy enchantment and nature part, where I would just want all the stacks and enchantments on the weapons. First of all, poison and then add more and more. Also quite strong because I think strong and sneaky is a very powerful combination. This would be the offensive um, combination while industrious is very good early game with the scout prospecting which gives a lot of early resources so this is also a very strong and actually very flexible faction quite heavily war oriented because with these traits and this tome they are they will be so good in combat and that rather quickly and then the last that is also not an option is Zahira Everstar of the Sephir that I enjoyed very much. Is a full-on mana and mystic magic build where I went in Tome of Evocation and went all in on the lightning theme. They do lightning damage, they, they want, they are gifted casters, they're imperialists. They like to have a a stable realm that just focuses everything on magic. They think the future is in magic and all magic is good. They're, they're on alignment chart, more on the neutral side, but it's just, it doesn't matter if it's evil or good. If it's magic, it's good to them. So yeah, um, feel free to choose to go back in the video and pause and choose any of those I'm happy well except for the blight void and the sephir I'm happy to play any of them and if you can't decide on a specific one of those you can always say ah you would like a, 
an order playthrough or an enchantment playthrough or a nature playthrough or you would like me to go for a specific tome up to you just let me know until then thank you for watching and see you when we start this